Stephen Hawking, born on the 8th of January of 1945, is known for his groundbreaking work with black holes and relativity. Moreover, he has written widely published books such as A Brief History of Time, making science accessible to everyone. But I'm not here to talk about black holes nor relativity. I will explain how he is able to speak. It is known that when he was studying cosmology in the University of Cambridge at the age of 21, he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. Long story short, the nerves that controlled his muscles were gradually shutting down. The crazy thing is that he never stopped his work. Medicine has not been able to cure me, so I rely on technology to help me communicate and live. His ever-expanding career was accompanied by an ever-worsening physical state. He had to use a wheelchair and his speech became slurred. So, what was the solution? One day, the co-founder of the American company Intel, Gordon Moore, met Professor Hawking in an event and promised him that he would support all his technological needs. So, after some time, Hawking asked him for a more modern system to communicate. This system consisted in three parts. First of all, a sensor of proximity located on his glasses that measures his movements, so every time he moves his stick, a signal is sent. The second part is a software platform that acts like a conductor between the sensor and windows. It has a virtual keyboard and a mouse simulator, so that he, with his stick, can select the letter he wants, just like our smartphones detect when it's close to the face. And then, last but not least, a word predictor. This was a very slow process, so the system had to be updated. What Hawking wanted was more speed without changing the keyboard's interface. What Intel managed to do was to predict his words from the context by analyzing his documents. Some published, others not. That way, he only had to write down 15-20% to of the words that the robotic voice said. Brother, you should see the look on your faces. During his life, Stephen taught loads of lessons, but the most important one for me was not about black holes nor relativity, but about life. Keep following your dreams no matter what, and that's what I will do. Professor Hawking, did you like my video? I like your paper very much. The premise is intriguing.